With the fanfare ramparts of Edinburgh, we welcome you to the Edinburgh Military Tattoo of 1982. As far below the ancient walls and battlements of the castle, the massed pipes and drums cross the drawbridge led onto the esplanade by the drum major of the Gordon Highlanders. By pipers of the 1st Battalion, 7th Duke of Edinburgh's own Gorka Rifles, who arrived home from the Falkland Islands just five days before coming north, and pipers of a regiment who celebrate their 350th birthday next year, the Royal Scots, the Royal Regiment. And they're playing a march named in honor of a former assistant producer of this tattoo and a distinguished authority in piping, Lieutenant Colonel DJS Murray. It was composed by the man responsible for piping throughout the British Army and here at the Edinburgh Tattoo, Captain John Allen, Queen's Own Highlanders. On parade with the Gurkhas and the Royal Scots, the pipes and drums of the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards, whose pipe major you see. The drums and pipes of the 1st Battalion, the Gordon Highlanders, and pipers and drummers from the Territorial Army. 60 pipers in all, 20 side drummers, 4 bass drummers, and 6 tenor drummers. And now the march is Major John McLennan, Gordon Highlanders, composed by his famous namesake, George Stuart McLennan. Chair of the mast, pipes, and drums. The drum major Brian Huntington of the Gordon Highlanders gives the command, and the pipes and drums move out to form a figure of eight to the traditional tune, the Battle of Killiecrankie. Strath's Bay is Captain Horn.
John Allen in 1966 added the second measure to the Gallic air, O Lua, O My Love. Another traditional Strathspey cut his wedding. by George Stuart McLennan, who died in 1929. It has the apt title, Dancing Feet. Major Huntington gives the command of the massed pipe bands reform now as they play the first of two well-known marches, the Bono Highlanders, a traditional air, and that'll be followed by Duncan McInnes by Peter McLeod Partick. from the Royal Scots, the Royal Regiment, the Queen's Own Highlanders and the Gordon Highlanders. Now accompany a display of precision marching and continuity drill by the Queen's Colour Squadron of the Royal Air Force. Known originally as the Royal Air Force Drill Unit, it received the title the Queen's Colour Squadron on the 1st of September 1960 and has since then been manned by officers and airmen of the Royal Air Force Regiment which itself was formed 40 years ago. The Queen's Colour Squadron guards the Queen's Colour for the Royal Air Force in the United Kingdom and provides the escort whenever the colour is paraded. The squadron has the honour to represent the Royal Air Force at all state ceremonies. During the past few years, the squadron has visited Australia, Belgium, Holland, Malta and New Zealand and later on this year members of the squadron will be training a drill team at the Royal Thai Air Force Academy in Bangkok. Let's leave the ceremonial side and look at combat. Forty years old this year the Royal Air Force Regiment has field squadrons of which the Queen's Colour Squadron counts as one and they go to Germany each winter to exercise their role. The regiment also has a parachute squadron 
and low-level air defence squadrons, of which number 63 has been in action in the Falklands. These drill displays usually involve something like 300 consecutive movements, all of which the gunners have to remember, and they've no computers to help them. And looking at them once again on their fifth and most welcome return to the Edinburgh Tattoo, we can all see why they have a worldwide reputation. And so, ladies and gentlemen, now that I've told you something about them, let's have the pleasure of watching the rest of their fine display with silence from me, but applause from you whenever you feel like it. The voice of Lieutenant Colonel Leslie Dow, OBE, producer of the Edinburgh Military Tattoo. In September 1980, on the 40th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, the Queen's Colour Squadron found the Queen's Guard at St James's Palace, Buckingham Palace and the Tower of London. After a four-week drill course, airmen spent two years with the squadron before returning to operational duties.
one Officer Manson who devised the display. In this year's Edinburgh International Festival, there is a strong Italian flavor. The Goito Fanfara dei Bersaglieri is the regimental fanfara of the former 3rd Bersaglieri Regiment, one of the most famous and distinguished regiments of the Italian army. Goito is the name of a town that saw one of its most famous engagements. Bersaglieri, literally those who hit the target, were, like our own rifle regiments and light infantry, trained to move fast over long distances and difficult terrain, hence their passo di corsa, or running step, a march in double time which these skillful musicians accomplish while playing their B-flat trumpets in perfect harmony. The sailor's hornpipe, accompanied by the percussion of 20,000 feet in the stand. There are 45 members of the fanfara. Their conductor or maestro is Wand Officer Leandro Bertuzzo, who has uh, arranged most of the music you'll hear in this display, and he's held that appointment since 1953. There he is in the middle. On the trumpets are banners with the Italian national colors on one side and the regimental badge on the other.
musical variations on the Bersaglieri's famous theme, Flick Flock. Now, as the fanfare traditionally do at home, they lay down their instruments, give a shout and move out to face their audience. Normally they pluck a feather from their hats, or bonnets as we might say in Scotland, offer it to a young lady in the crowd in return for a kiss. Once after entering a liberated Italian town in 1919, they found themselves after ten minutes wearing featherless headgear. Tonight, they salute. music call and the guard of his majesty the king of Norway. Norway has many close links with Scotland. The composer Grieg's grandfather came from the northeast of Scotland. The first president of the Norwegian parliament was a Christie of Scots descent. The present king of Norway, his majesty King Olaf, was installed 20 years ago as a knight of the thistle. And his guard with its music corps uh, has uh, come to the Edinburgh Tattoo twice before, in 
Colonel Bogey, and now plays away. When the King of Sweden was also King of Norway in 1860, he visited Italy and was much impressed by the feathered hats of the Bersaglieri. The King's Guard, the Kongensgard, from then until 1909, four years after the kingdoms of Norway and Sweden divided, wore very similar headgear. Now the parade hat has been stylized into what is virtually a bowler hat trimmed with buffalo hair. This is the Guard's third visit to us. Among overseas contingents, only Queen's Guard Rutgers has appeared so often. These members of the drill platoon and band are all conscripts. They only joined the army in April of this year. Those rifles weigh over five kilos each and they've not been stripped down in any way. by these soldiers of four months. The company colors move up the esplanade and the music hall now plays For Manning, Fall to Arms and Gamal Yeager's March, the old Hunter's March. <laughs> 